Hi everyone, this is Barry the Mystic. Welcome back to my channel. What is an empath? Empath or an empath is someone who's very aware or highly aware or sensitive to the emotions of others around them to the point where they also pick up or feel those emotions themselves, mentally as well as physically. Empaths are also highly sensitive, but not all highly sensitive people are empaths. An empath can pick up other people's emotions as their own. Essentially like a sponge would absorb water or sponging up something is essentially how an empath is feeling things. An empath can also pick up very tiny details in another person's vibration, expression, their body language, even the tone of their voice that perhaps other people would miss. So they're very in tune or have a highly fine sense of what the other person is feeling. This is a really powerful gift of being an empath or empathic person. So essentially, ordinary empathy for someone means that you feel for the other person or your heart goes out to that other person, especially if a friend or a family member or a coworker is going through a very difficult time, you have empathy for them. However, an empath will actually feel or sense or take on the other person's emotions, their mental energy, as well as picking up on and feeling physical pain or physical symptoms in their body. So the difference between the two is being an empath is also someone with psychic ability because they are feeling the emotion. They're sensing the emotion even from a far distance. They're also feeling or picking up on physical pain of another as something that is more intense as if it would be their own. So someone who is an empath can also be a psychic empath. So therefore it's someone who's very highly sensitive to energy in the room, in a building, highly sensitive to energy surrounding them. So sensitive that they have this ability to feel others' emotion, and in some cases, others' physical pain or physical sensations as if it's their own. This can also be known as a physical empath if they are actually feeling or taking on another person's physical feelings or physical pain. So an example may be, if you're wondering, am I an empath? Examples would be feelings of sadness that overcome you or come out of nowhere that consume you. That has nothing to do relatively with your life or your environment at that moment. There also may be a sensation of like, an electrical charge or an electrical current that kind of overpowers your 
emotions or overpowers, overpowers your body as well. You may also have a difficult time separating your actual feelings from what the feeling that is coming to you or emotion that is coming to you that you're taking on. This is coming from others. Empaths also experience anxiety or depression more than other people. There may also be unexplainable physical symptoms that come on that are very short-lived and then disappear. When it comes to physical symptoms, this is a form of a sympathy symptom, meaning your child or your best friend is experiencing a stomach ache. Okay? So all of a sudden, you become ill and take on that stomach ache. Can anyone be an empath? No one really can answer that in a, the metaphysical sense. In terms of how or why these abilities exist or how they work. Or why one person may be an empath and another person may not be. Many do believe that having empathic abilities does run in families and is a genetic trait. If you are inexperienced in this area, normally it may feel like all of a sudden you're overwhelmed by a sudden flood of emotions coming out of nowhere. And this is also something that's very vulnerable and susceptible to children. There also may be feelings or physical sensations that you pick up from another person. So it makes it difficult to distinguish, is this what I'm feeling about myself or is this what I'm taking on or picking up on, which are emotions from others. A sign that is pretty well known about being an empath is you get extremely overwhelmed and extremely exhausted in crowded places. So you're very overwhelmed in spaces with a lot of people and a lot of things going on because it's an overload of stimulation. It's also an overload of emotions that you also pick up from all those around you. Once again, another trait is feeling sick or picking up on physical pain from someone else. So essentially, you're psychically catching the symptoms of people around you. Another sign that you're an empath is that people are drawn to you, especially strangers in public. If you've ever had someone open themselves up to you out of the blue in a public setting that you've never met them before and they're asking you for advice or they're talking about their story, or they're sitting with you and out of nowhere are telling you deep, dark secrets or sharing with you a real major problem in their life. So part of that ability as an empath is that strangers feel compelled to talk to you or tell you things they normally wouldn't tell their immediate family or friends. Also, another positive sign of being an empath is knowing and understanding when someone is lying or being dishonest. You pick up on cues. You pick up on certain minor little details about a person's speech pattern, their tone, as well as their body language. You may also pick up on uh, or notice that another person's smell chain when they're lying. So once again, an empath is someone who's highly aware and highly sensitive of the emotions of those around them to the point, though, that you're actually 
feeling those emotions. So an empath typically views and sees the world very different from other people. But once again, it's just not about emotion. It's also about physical pain or feeling things on a physical level from other people. Another sign that you're an empath is the vibe that you get when you walk into a room. Empaths are highly sensitive to certain energies and certain vibes in a particular place, building, room, change in the air, or the feel of the atmosphere of their surroundings. An empath also has the great capability of really understanding where people are coming from. Okay, just not absorbing or picking up or feeling the emotions of others, but you also, an empath, can also intuitively understand or intuitively sense what someone is trying to express, even though they may be having a hard time trying to get it out or trying to express it. So empathy basically is connecting with others. It's also a place of understanding, but it's also a great sense of understanding where people are coming from. Empaths are very highly sensitive to tragic events. Many empaths stay away from watching the news. They stay away from reading uh, about certain world events or watching tragic world events on TV or online. They pick up and feel the devastation of that horrible event as if it's happening to them or to you. You still feel it or they're feeling it just not from the outside, but they're actually experiencing it <clears throat> or they seem to be living through it themselves. Empaths also have a wonderful connection to children, animals, and babies. Empaths have feelings that are a different approach or different sense or connection when it comes to those that are vulnerable. Relationships can be very challenging, especially intimate relationships for an empath, because they start to sense every little thing about their partner, their mood, they also can pick up on positive emotions, but they also take on or feel engulfed with the other person or the other partner's emotion. An empath also looks at their environment or looks at their home as a safety place or a sanctuary where they can get away from everything and they really like that safe nest or safe environment of having a home or having a certain type of energy in their home or viewing their place of residence uh, or home or apartment as their sanctuary. Empaths in the workplace actually make excellent leaders. They also make excellent managers, supervisors, boss, and they can also very much sense or pick up on what the manager or supervisor or boss is doing wrong. An empath in the workplace really listens to others, and they really need unity. They really need uh, to listen to others because they want unity unification, working with people as a team. Another sign of an empath is you have a very calming effect on other people, which is actually the power to help people with healing. Empaths are natural 
healers. So not only people seek empaths out for advice, but they also feel more at peace with the empath. They also feel more calm. They also feel uh, as if something is healing within themselves after their encounter with an empath or they feel like a part of their situation is not as such a struggle or a difficulty. Of course, empaths want to help. Empaths cannot walk past a situation where someone is in distress or if someone is needing assistance. An empath will stop and actually help. And to them, it's, it's kind of like, that's my job. They see someone who's suffering or needs help or is in distress or looks confused or lost. An empath will pick that up. So an empath has kind of like a radar when it comes to other people. They have a radar on what's going on in the room. They have a radar when it comes to what's going on in relationships. They also have a built-in uh, lie detector or bullshit detector when it comes to other people. So it's all, also very much like uh, their empathic radar when it comes to others. If you are an empath, and if you ever feel overwhelmed as an empath, there are many techniques that can help an empath minimize their abilities. The number one technique, and not a lot of people uh, feel that they can do this or don't feel comfortable doing this, or it's, it's something that they just don't want to do, and that is meditation. Okay, meditation is really the most common technique, but it's also the one that's the most effective to help control your mind, to help control your environment, to help control your emotions as well. Also, uh, reading uh, techniques or reading about psychic development or reading about uh, empathic psychic abilities and better understanding your gift is very helpful as well, especially if you're lost or confused or overwhelmed about what's going on around you. Also talking about it with someone or working with a mentor or finding a mentor or finding someone uh, who you feel confident in not being judged and how you're feeling is also very helpful as well. There's also many techniques you can try, such as visualization, to help you control your empathic abilities. You can also try psychometry, which is holding an object in your hand and strengthening your empathic or psychic abilities to control that and picking up on the feelings or the energies or the vibrations of that object. So what is an empath? An empath is someone who is feeling the feelings of others. An empath who is psychic or is an empathic psychic also is feeling or picking up the feelings of others. And there are ways for you to recognize what's going on and to also strengthen your ability to minimize the impact of feeling overwhelmed and to control your empathic or your empathic psychic ability. So once you realize you're empathic, if you've ever wondered, am I an empath? Or if you hear people say, I'm an empath, and you wonder to yourself, but I wonder if I'm an empath. There's many websites online. There's many books. There's many videos here on YouTube that you can watch. But I wanted to make this video just to give you an idea of essentially what is an empath when someone says was an empath. Or if you feel that you're an empath already, what are the signs of being an empath? How can I control this gift? or improve this gift or ability to betterment for betterment in your life or for the good of your life as well as for the lives of others.
So thank you so much for watching. I hope that you found this video helpful as well as insightful. Thank you so much for subscribing to this channel. And I will speak to everyone soon and stay blessed.